Hi, this is my video on the Ulanzi Fast Claw. Now this is a camera quick release clip for your backpack and belt. Now I picked this up from Amazon in the UK for £29.95 but there may be some deals on this so if you can get it cheaper that's great for you. So I'll go around the box. As you can see, we have Ulanzi's name at the top. We have the actual item there in this window that you can actually see the item. It basically says, honey, and it's tiny, quickness, portable, stable, and the fast claw, the name of the actual product. And there we have Ulanzi, claw, Ulanzi on the other side. Just a little kind of um, saying from Ulanzi, a small brand focusing on photography phone for grab gravity i'm sorry about that i'm a bit tired today i'm a bit tired and on the back here we have a picture of the actual product on the back the actual specifications which i'll show to the camera up here so you can see them basically the name of the the that the name of the item claw the actual size of the item in millimeters the actual weight which is 129 grams the whole thing is made out of aluminium and the standard. Now, I'm not quite sure what that is and it just gives you a quick diagram how to use the product, but I'll come to that later. And this is what you get in the box. You don't even get an instruction leaflet. You just get this unit and it is very, very simple. I'll go around the actual unit itself. As you can see, we have these two aluminium screws here um, with grips on them and a kind of gnarling effect on the two screws. And we have the actual plate here where you mount the camera. And the actual unit is all made of aluminium. Now up, up here in the corner here, as you can see, it looks like a coin. What this item is exactly, and I'll come to it later on, it has the words Ulanzi written on there. Now this coin here is specifically for this unit here on the back. And I'll show you what you use this for. But the unique thing what Ulanzi has done here is that it provides a little slot for this particular coin and it is magnetic. So you drop it in and as you can hear, it literally goes into there and it's magnetic. Now it uses this system, what most quick release clips use the two screws here you unwind these screws and simply scissor this out as like that lever it out now on the back plate here we have this nice grippy rubber same kind of fastening system here we have this slot here where this comes down after when you place this on your strap your back strap um, bag strap or your belt come down clip that in and screw down. Now the top section here has this unique kind of uh, release system. Now how you release it is you simply press down on not only the top button here, but this bottom button here at the same time. So you press down on these two and simply pull that out. Now, the plate here, or platform, has a quarter inch thread. Nice rubber um, platform here with the words claw written, uh, embossed in there. And on the back here, we have the quarter inch screw with a groove here, not only to accept coins or screwdrivers to turn it, but we have this nice little kind of handle here that flips up and you can use that. Now on the platform we have slots or holes on every side here. So this can be placed in any, back into this system in any orientation back in there. And as for the actual base unit, as you can see, it uses a spring loaded system to place it back in. And all you do is simply push it back in and it snaps back into place. 
The unique thing which Ulanzi has done, as I stated before, they give you this kind of coin um, with it. Now this coin is for you to use to tighten up your camera onto the back of this plat onto the platform to use this to tighten the screw to tighten your camera onto this platform, which is really, really nice. And as I stated before, this is made out of metal, not aluminium, with the words Ulanzi um, embossed on both sides. And as I stated, it just fits into that slot, slot magnetically. And that, even when you shake it, does not come out. Locking system of this, as, as I said, the releasing system is by pressing both of these buttons, the red button at the top and the black button underneath at the same time releases the plate uh, or platform. Now to lock the platform in, even though it's locked in already, but to give it that extra security, as you can see, we have a lock, um, padlock here, which is locked and a padlock here, which is open. Now, if you push this, and I hope to get that in the shot, if you push this button to from right to left, it locks it. And as you can see, you see a bit of the underneath part of this button. I'll turn it that way to show you. This top part slides out. And when you press down, even if you accidentally press down or even the both buttons, it will not release the platform. And to unlock it and to release the platform, you simply push from left to right like so, and push down on both platforms, and that's released out. Now I'm gonna show you how to place the Ulanzi claw onto your back strap mount. First things first, we have to release these screws here. So I suggest just release them so they're flush at the back here. Don't release them all the way, just release them to the flush at the back. We get the side that opens up, which is that side. We flip that out, so it's like so. We take that, place it under the back strap or belt. We might, because of the thickness of your strap, you might have to release some more screw thread here on the other side. Not this screw, but on this screw here. Bring that round. Now, as you can see, it comes here to a stop, so it doesn't go under, so we have to release some more thread here. Once we're able to do that, we slide down <laughs> the top here. It is so fiddly. We slide down the top here and it clips into place there. Now you can adjust this to get that straight as possible. It doesn't have to be leaned like that. Um, you can get that straight as possible. Then you tighten up with that screw here and tighten up with the second screw next to the name Ulanzi, which is here. And just to keep tightening to when you can't tighten anymore. So if I keep doing that, and keep doing that, it tightens to it, it can't tighten up anymore. And now that clip is firmly in place, sandwiched, and I'll try and get that on shot, sandwiched between the strap. Now it's up to you, you can either move this over by releasing it or just keep it as it is there. It doesn't make any difference um, to your shot, especially if you've got a stabilizing um, camera, it doesn't make any difference. Um, if you're using something like a GoPro or action camera. If you're using something like a DLSR camera or a mirrorless camera or point and shoot camera, obviously your camera is going to be facing down. So it's only just, this is only just to carry your camera. To place your action camera, and I'm using the uh, 4K mod on the Insta One uh, R, now to place your action camera onto the platform here, once you release the platform out of the actual clip, you need to get yourself one of these mounts here, and I'll show you here. You need to get one of these now. The Lanzi does not supply this mount, which is a shame, um, with this particular clip here. They don't supply it, so 
you're going to have to buy this separately. Now you can get them off Amazon and you can get them off eBay as little as probably a pound or a dollar. It depends how far you search amongst those sites. Screw the platform to the mount and we simply we can either use the actual um, handle here and I'll just show you with the handle once it's screwed in to tighten it you remember I showed you earlier on in the video that Yolanzi provides you with this nice kind of coin here so you can either use a coin or a flathead screwdriver or this Ulanzi coin here and you just use that to tighten that up. You place the coin back in the mount here, what I said was magnetic and now we take the platform here and just push it on and it will snap it into place as you can hear. Now if your camera is off kilted like that some cameras, um, depending which camera that you buy, um, action camera that you buy, can keep the horizon straight. So even when it's at an angle like this, it will just keep the horizon straight. If your action camera doesn't do that, you simply can loosen, take that back out, and simply loosen the platform and slightly tilt the platform to get your camera straight. So that's all you have to do. Now this is how it looks when your camera is in place. Now. Remember I showed you earlier on in the video about the locking system at the top here and it's hard to get that in so I'll try and turn to the side about the locking system here. So if you want to lock this camera and you're not going to take it off at all, off, um, take the whole camera off or at entirely and just to make it be safe, simply push the red button from right to left and now that's locked in. And even when you press down, this platform is not being released. Now I'm going to do the jump test for you on this to show you that this is not going to drop your camera. And that's it. I actually feel <laughs> silly doing this because my window from the front of my house is only just there. So if neighbors are looking, they think, what the heck is he doing? And as you can see, this does not come off at all. It now to release it, so you want to take, say you want to take your camera off the mount, same principle, same thing what I showed you earlier on. You're gonna, if you've locked the, the locking button at the top, simply move it from left to right. And simply now you take your hand, remember you've got to push the red button at the top here and the black button underneath at the same time. So you push them in hold your camera with the other hand and that comes straight out and then that's it and to place it back in you don't need to press these two buttons just simply push place the platform on push back with your cam push back on the platform and you should hear it snap into place and that's it to fasten this quick release system on your belt the principle is exactly the same as when you're going to use it on the backpack I'll go for it quickly again. You unloosen these two threads, not all the way out, but just give it enough um, thread um, room here so we can swing the top part of the mount. We swing the top part of the mount up. We place the mount, the bottom part of the mount, under your belt, like so. Then we swing round. Now the best, I always find it's best to have the screw that doesn't come out or doesn't release the system, have that at the top. That's what I, to me, is the best way. So basically, so the words Yulanzi is facing upright to you, but um, uh, facing down, uh, upside down. So we then swing round the base here. So let me on, swing round the base unit here that in now it's up to you where you place this it's up to you um, every person's different you can either have this in front of you like so but be careful when sitting down that this doesn't dig into you um, I tend to put mine 
roughly between the front and the side here, somewhere between that spot there, normally over this pocket. We screwed down the actual base units to when they are tight. So once they are tight like so, that's, that's it. It's fastened on the belt. And then we take our camera here. Now this could be your DLSR camera, as I says, your mirrorless camera, or if it's an action camera and you want to shoot from the hip, I suggest that you have the camera facing upright like so. And the same principle again, you simply fasten the camera, um, the platform to the camera. If it's one of these action cameras, you need to get this tripod mount here. We fasten the camera to there, push in, and now we've got the camera on the hip. Now, if it's your DLSR camera if, or mirrorless camera, obviously it's not going to be facing that way because the screw thread on those cameras are at the bottom. So your camera is basically going to be looking down. So this for, a, for them kind of cameras, point and shoot, DLSR, mirrorless cameras, it's just simply a holder to hold your camera to free up um, items around your neck and off your shoulder. That's what this mount is for. But for action cameras, it's good to record. You can use this to record from your waist or from the back, the backpack. And I'll do the same thing again. The jump. And as you can see, I really feel silly doing that. As you can see, the camera is on there firm. And also, just in case somebody will ask me that, the coin that they provide stays in there because it's magnetic. Same principle applies like I showed you earlier on. If you want to lock this system in, you push it up. And now that is locked in. And you want to release, push down. And same, same again. Press on both buttons. And now this is out. Now here's part of the video where I give my two pence worth about the Ulanzi um, claw. Now, basically there's only two negatives about this product. Um, the first negative has to be with um, the weight of this thing. Now, even though they say it's light and it weighs 129 grams, unlike the Daskaleski, <laughs> it's hard to say that, that was made out of plastic and I don't know a video on that. Um, you do feel the weight of this thing on your backpack. It's not really bad. Um, it's not really pulling down your bag, but you do feel the weight of this, especially when you attach um, your camera on there, you're gonna feel a lot of weight on this. So that's the first negative about this thing. And the second negative, which is only the final negative about this item, has to be with this coin. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Ulanzi provides you with this nice little coin thing, which fits in there magnetically. But that is something most people are going to lose. <laughs> I know that for, off the bat. Most people are going to lose that because this thing is really small. It's not very big at all. And I, I can understand why Ulanzi provided that, which is very good. But because of the size of this thing and the thinness of this thing, and it looks so similar to uh, currency <laughs> of any from any part of the world, your lowest currency in wherever you live, it looks similar to that and probably most likely to be the same size as it. Uh, that is something that's going to get lost very easily. So me personally, if you're going um, for trips and stuff like that, I would keep tend to, uh, I wouldn't use this at all. I would just leave that in there. Just leave it in there or just don't bring it and just use a coin. Now for the positives of this. I love the actual size of this thing. This thing is really small. I would say it is roughly just a little bit bigger than the Peak Design. I think it's the third generation of the um, Peak Designs um, back, uh, back quick release backpack one. Uh, mount um, it's it's just a little bit bigger than their their third generation one and next thing is uh, another uh, positive is the price it is a lot cheaper than the peak design one far less cheaper I think the peak design one is probably around about 70 pounds while this is literally half the price 
and it is built well built exactly like the peak design one i mean just subtly built another positive is the actual release system i like this two button press down together release system that you get on this unit instead it has to be relying on just the one um, button on there is you rely on two buttons to keep this firmly in so i like that and how it's spring loaded as well another positive has to be the locking system up here while others will tend to use a kind of locking system screw here um, to lock the system in um, to lock your camera the platform to the actual release system uh, or mount this just simply just push so and then that's locked in it's nice and simple and the last positive is i like how the actual platform you can they provide you obviously the try and get that in focus for you folks i like how they provide the screw with the slot and also with a little handle and also you can or put place this back into the mount into the mount in any orientation and it will just simply snap back in that is really really good overall conclusion of this product is if you're looking for a particular bag a rucksack stroke backpack or belt clip for your cameras and whichever camera that you use um, and one thing I did miss off, which was a negative, I'm not going to quickly say this. This would be really brilliant if you Lanzi provide you with a free quarter inch to GoPro style tripod mount um, for your action cameras. That would be icing on, that would be the cherry on the cake, then if you want to place it, place that. Releasing clip or mount for your camera is worth its money. Uh, as I says, I'd like everything about this particular unit and i probably may keep this <laughs> unit <laughs> actually because i like the small the actual how small it is the build quality of this thing it's it's really good and the quick release system of this particular ulanzi item as i stated before the only negative i've got which is kind of negative and a positive in one respect is this coin thing here it could have been a little bit bigger because I know this is going to be easy to lose, but but in general, well worth the twenty nine ninety five. If you can get it even less on a deal through Amazon or any other um, online marketplace, or even from Ulanzi themselves, it's worth buying. If you happen to have the Ulanzi claw, please let us know down in the comment section what you thought about it, because your opinions are different to my opinions. So please let us know thanks for watching the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down i perfectly understand my videos can be long but i like to go into detail to save you to trouble of when you buy the product you know what to expect so that's why my videos are long um, please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time